Hey guys, got a quick video here for you. This one's sort of for a guy called Tim or Timster at timscomputerfix.com in Savannah, Georgia there. He runs a computer repair uh, business out there in Savannah, Georgia and I wanted to give him an alternative piece of software to Steady State. Now I'm going to be using a program called ToolWiz Time Freeze which is a free program Tim and you can get it from this website here toolwiz.com and uh, you just come onto the products area and download this. Now what it does it's an easy and effective instant system restore software to keep your system safe and protect your computer from unwanted changes. Now what that's going to do is if you get infected or with malware or something like that or rootkits or anything of that nature or maybe you've uh, made a, a system uh, change and you didn't like it and it's now corrupted the system this will allow you to roll back and put that system back into a working state it puts the actual system under protection and creates a virtual environment for system partition and uh, also you can run applications and surf the internet in that environment in a safe and high level of security for that system so let's get started I'm going to uh, run this. It's a very simple program to run. You just click on it like this. Once you've installed it, it will just ask you to reboot and then you'll get this box pop up. And basically we need to do is put the uh, tick in this box here, which is very, very easy to do, and then click on start time freeze. Now what this is going to do is uh, put it into a sort of virtual environment. So we're going to start this up now. And as you can see, it's now started. You can see up the top, it says frozen mode. So we can still surf the internet and do all this sort of good stuff. You know, it doesn't really matter what we do because we're safe. So if I did have a problem at this stage, I could roll back and basically put the system back into uh, a good working state. As you can see here, You'll, you'll see this little uh, time freeze protection, protection is started and you'll get five megabytes of cache has been taken. Total cache size is this such is this size. Okay, so this is in a virtual box by the way, so it doesn't really matter, but if it was on a real system, you'd get what I mean. Okay, so we've also got um, this uh, part down here that says file protection or folder protection, and we can start that up as well. So all we need to do is start file protection and then we can add um, a folder or a file into this little Dropbox here. It's very easy to do. You just come up to where you want to go and uh, say for instance it's your pictures that you're concerned about. You can click OK and it will put this into there and it's as simple as that really and you can also add files um, as long as it's not Windows system files because that's already uh, being protected up at the top here and then you can enable a password even okay and uh, once you've enabled the password you're pretty much good to go and that's it really and if I cancel this out now uh, just cancel this and stop this I'm going to stop this off and also I'm going to stop this as well it'll give you an option and it will basically say uh, turn off the protection and save all the changes now for instance if I wanted to save the changes on the work that I've been doing on the system I could just put the tick in here and click OK and what that's going to do is all the stuff that I've been doing like files that I've been downloading or creating on the system it would actually save them as if it would normally have happened but if I didn't want to change because I did something wrong as in downloaded a virus I could turn it off and it will drop back to normal without any changes so I could go like this and the system would reboot and let the system reboot okay so we'll let the system reboot back up and uh, once that's been rebooted the system will be back to the way it was when you first started uh, the time freeze so nothing would have been infected or changed on that system and you'd be back to normal so all in all a very easily to use program so that would be my uh, alternative option to steady state and I think it's worth a little look. So anyway, I think that'll be the end of this video. My name is Brian from brotech.co.uk. If you enjoy these videos, please remember guys, hit that subscribe button and show your support and rate and favorite all my videos if you enjoy them. And uh, I'll be making more videos again in the future. So uh, I shall see you then. But if you've got any problems and you're in the uh, Savannah, Georgia area and you've got any computer related issues, then don't forget, get over to timscomputerfix.com and uh, check him out. He's a pretty decent guy over there. Okay, thanks a lot. Bye for now.